Exynos back on the map, or is it just another swing and a miss in the endless Snapdragon vs Exynos cage match? Stick around because we're unpacking a fresh report that's got the whole industry buzzing. This is going to be a wild ride. Let's dive in. First off, the headline that's slapping everyone across the face, the Exynos 2600 is officially a done deal for at least one Galaxy S26 model. And get this, it's poised to be the world's first two nanometer smartphone chip. While the rest of the pack is still on three nanometer processes, Samsung's charging ahead with two nanometer tech. This isn't just an incremental upgrade, this is Samsung flexing their foundry muscles and saying, hold my soju, we're about to redefine mobile power. But let's rewind a sec for context, because if you're like me, you've been burned by Exynos drama before. Remember the Galaxy S24? Samsung ditched their homegrown Exynos 2400 for Snapdragon across the board in the US and some other markets after that thermal throttling fiasco. Fans were salty, benchmarks were brutal, and Samsung's system LSI team was left licking their wounds. Fast forward to now, mid-2025, and reports are swirling that Exynos is making a triumphant comeback with the S26 lineup. Apple just dropped their A19 beasts, MediaTek's Dimensity 9500 is out here slinging AI haymakers, and Qualcomm's Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 5 is basically a rocket ship on steroids. The pressure's on Samsung to step up, and boy do they have a plan. According to a bombshell report straight from the bell, Samsung has kicked off mass production on the Exynos 2600. Not in some distant future, this is happening now. They started a bit earlier than expected because those yields are already over 50%. For the uninitiated, yields are the percentage of wafers that don't end up as expensive coasters. Hitting 50% this quick means Samsung's dialing in that 2 nanometer process like a pro. Wafer input just began, and fab out, that's when the chips roll out fully baked, is slated for late October or early November. We're talking holiday-ready silicon. Now here's the juicy part. This powerhouse won't be in every S26. It's laser-focused on one model, the Galaxy S26 Pro base. The Edge and Ultra will likely stick with Snapdragon supremacy worldwide. Why the selective rollout? Samsung's playing it smart. In Europe, South Korea, and maybe some Asian regions, you'll get that Exynos flavor for potentially lower costs and better optimization. But in China and North America, Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 5 for Galaxy, the custom-tuned Qualcomm Kingpin that's been dominating benchmarks. Let's nerd out on the specs. The Exynos 2600 is cooked up by Samsung's System LSI division and fabbed on their first-gen 2nm node, codenamed SF2. This is the third generation to rock gate all-around transistors, which wrap the gate around the channel for more efficiency and performance. Compared to Samsung's own SF3, SF2 promises 12% more raw power and a whopping 25% better efficiency. Imagine your phone lasting longer while multitasking like crazy. Architecture-wise, it's a mix of ARM and AMD magic. It's rocking the same ARM C1 CPU cores as MediaTek's Dimensity 9500, built for AI crunching and smooth multitasking. But Samsung's twist is in the GPU. It's based on RNDA AMD architecture, not ARM's Immortalis. This is the payoff from Samsung's AMD partnership. RNDA means console-level ray tracing, so expect insane graphics. Gaming on the S26 Pro could feel like next-gen. But is 2 nanometer really going to outpace the competition? The Dimensity 9500, Apple's E19, and Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 5 are all built on TSMC's 3 nanometer N3E process. TSMC is no joke, but Samsung's claiming their SF2 edges it out in efficiency. Early whispers say yes, but benchmarks will tell the truth. With those C1 cores, on device AI could be next level. Think real time photo editing or voice assistants that finally get your sarcasm. Still, Samsung's history has me cautious. Exynos 2200 looked great on paper, but overheated. Exynos 2400 was better, but still lagged under sustained loads. If they nail thermal management this time, and that 25% efficiency bump suggests they might, this could be the redemption arc. Imagine recording 4K video or gaming for hours without your phone melting down. Or it throttles and we're back to the same old flame wars online. The stakes are high, Samsung. Don't let us down. All right, tech squad, that's the lowdown on the Exynos 2600. Mass production rolling, 2 nanometer glory incoming, and a shot at redemption for the S26 Pro. What do you think? Is this Exynos' big comeback, or will Snapdragon stay king? Drop your thoughts in the comments. If this video fired you up, like, share, and subscribe for more chip chats. Next week, we're tearing into the Pixel 10 leaks, and trust me, it's juicy. Peace out, stay charged, and I'll catch you in the next one.